so today I'm doing a tag video for you. It's the, I'm so sorry, it's so hot right now. It's the summer love and tag, but I'm going to try to get through this video. I have a lot of videos to film today and it is so hot. I need to go to Target and get a fan because we don't have air in here and we are on the sixth floor. So we, in like the area that our apartment's at, we don't get any air in, it's like a trap. So I'm like dripping sweat right now, it's really gross. Okay, so here we go. Number one, summer lipstick you are loving. So I really like cool tone pinks in the summer, like like a baby pink, but a little bit of a purpley-ness to them. So what I have on my lips right now is Revlon Primrose. This is probably my, one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. I like the packaging. It's a beautiful cool tone pink. It has like a violet tone to it. It's super creamy and I don't, I'm not a huge makeup person in the summer, like yeah, I have a lot of makeup on right now because I'm filming, but day to day I like to just wear like a BB cream, a tinted moisturizer, mascara, and then I'll do my eyebrows. So lipstick is usually not like an everyday necessity for me in the summer. Usually I wear like a tinted lip balm or chapstick, but I had to show you guys some lipsticks because that's the question of, of the tag. The other one that I really like, which is very similar to the Revlon one, is the Kardashian and Joystick, and this is in the shade Baby Doll. And this, again, is that purpley pink. This one's a little bit more on the pink side, but again, kind of the same sort of color. And then if you want a gloss on top, I have been obsessed with this Alba Botanica Hawaiian Lip Gloss. It's in coconut cream and I have it on top of my lipstick right now and it gives a nice shine to your lips. There's no sparkle in it. It's super hydrating at the same time. A lot of glosses are so drying and they're just nasty. This one, like it feels almost like you're putting on a balm, but it gives you that little bit of shine too. So and this is 100% vegetarian ingredients and no animal testing. Next is your favorite summer nail polish color, and this is by China Glaze. This is in the shade Aquadelic. The color of my nails I will talk about on Friday because I love this too, but this is my favorite, favorite, favorite for summertime. It's a gorgeous, bright, neon, turquoise-ish, teal color. It looks so cute on the nails. Like, oh my gosh, this color is so good. If you don't have this color, you really need it. It is unlike any other color. It's just so fun. Okay, number four is your favorite bikini for the summer. And this, I wanted to find one for you guys that you could actually still buy in stores. And this one is like this awesome, Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's a navy print and then it has these like neon zigzags to it. And then here's the top. So it's just your typical triangle. But it's just so fun. Um, this is from Forever 21. It was like so cheap. Like this was under $20. And I like to get a couple nice bathing suits just because they last a little longer. But I get, I like to switch out my bathing suits all the time, which is why I always buy a couple cheap ones from like Forever 21 and Target. I feel like Targets aren't that aren't that cheap anymore, but Forever 21 has so, so many bathing suits. So this one has been my favorite this summer. It's just really fun and bright. Okay, number, oh, that was number three, sorry. Number four, favorite summer Frappuccino from Starbucks. I'm not a huge, I'm not a Frappuccino fan at all, actually. I feel like they settle really weird and the ingredients in there are not good. So usually I just get an iced coffee with some sweetener in it. Usually I get like, Grande iced coffee with two pumps of classic or two pumps of caramel and then I'll put a little half and half in there and I just know what I'm drinking. It's not like mystery ingredients. If I don't want coffee, I usually get a refresher. The very berry refresher is so good. Or I will get like a lemon, like green tea lemonade. Number five, your favorite fake tan. So I, my favorite fake tan is the Sun Goddess tan, but I, I for some reason forgot to bring that up here with me. But I did bring the Million Dollar Tan, which I love too. The Sun Goddess is a little bit more of a bronzy brown color, and this one is more of a golden color. So it's kind of depends on what you prefer. This one I find applies way easier. It's a lotion and it's like a clearish color. So it just applies like a lotion. So the bummer about that, like it's super easy, but you don't really know where it's going. The Sun Goddess, on the other hand, is tinted, so you know exactly where it is. And I find that I never get any streaks when I use Sun Goddess. But I really love, love, love the Million Dollar Face Tanner. This one's awesome. 
It, I put it on some t like once a week, I would say, on my face as a moisturizer during the night. And I wake up and my face looks really tan. But you have to be careful because it's really pigmented. So like if you you need to get all the way into your hairline or I'll still get like a little splotchiness up there. So love this for my face and it didn't make me break out at all, which is great. And these are paraben free. Okay, number six is your favorite summer song. I don't have, okay, I do have some favorite songs. Driving Around Song by Colt Ford and Jason Aldean is amazing. When that song comes on, I'm just like, yes, this is so good. I love country in the summer. What else do I like? Um, let me pull my Pandora because I usually just listen to Pandora and I like basically any, all the, there's so much new country out right now, it's like amazing. Florida Georgia Line Radio I have on here. This is how we roll radio is a really, really good one too. Uh, I think that's a, that, those are good. I also really, if I don't want country, because sometimes I get sick of country, like, what is this, laid back beach music is a really good Pandora station. It's kind of like Hawaiian, tropical, and feels like you're at the beach. So I like that. Or is it beach bar lounge? One of those, just do like a beach something. That one's always fun. Number seven is favorite summer accessory. For me, I'm not a huge jewelry person in the summer. I don't usually wear earrings ever in general now. I, like my hair always covers my ears, so I don't wear earrings. But I do wear a lot of bracelets and things like that. I'll always wear a watch. Uh, this is my Michael Kors watch, which is like my nice watch. But I have a lot of other like cheap watches that I switch out. And then I usually wear a bunch of kind of beaded bracelets like this. Just layering pieces is what I like. But when it's hot, you don't want to wear a ton of jewelry because you're like, <sighs> like I'm just so hot right now. It's really brutal. Um, but as far as other accessories go, I always have sunglasses with me. Where I'm gonna talk about my favorite sunglasses too on Friday. I feel like I'm giving all my Friday favorites away right now. Crossbody bags are my favorite too, which I mentioned um, one last week, which I love from Boohoo. Crossbody bags are just awesome because you don't have to worry about holding a purse. They're so low maintenance. I like being very low maintenance and minimal in the summer. Number eight is your favorite summer fragrance or perfume. This is my favorite for the summer right now. It's called My Daughter Fragrances in the scent Joyful. And it is so, it's a natural perfume, which is really cool. It, if you like gardenia, if you like jasmine, very floral scents, then you will love this. It's very light and it has just a like outdoorsy kind of green scent like you're walking outside and you get a whiff of fresh air like that's what it smells like so nice really light and sometimes i'll just kind of spray this throughout our apartment and it smells really good it makes me happy number nine summer book you are loving i am not reading any books right now i've been too busy to sit down and read so if you guys have any suggestions of books to read let me know please because all the books i tend to read are like really dark and not dark but like sad I, for some reason i gravitate towards really sad books like jody picolt's probably my favorite author because i just like intense books so if you have any like light reads and let me know and the last question is what are you most excited to do this summer since moving to seattle i have just been loving walking everywhere it's been so nice to just get outside not have to go in my car to drive anywhere and I just walk to the market, I walk to get my errands done. It's so nice and it feels so good outside. The weather is amazing. So I think that's what I, I just like being outside, going on hikes, going on walks and whatnot. And I don't even have to work out here because I'm always walking. So I'm just doing cardio all day long and I'm always sweating. So it's been kind of cool. I feel like I don't feel so bad when I eat an ice cream. I'm actually going back to San Diego this weekend to visit family. We're having like a family get together and then I'm staying an extra four days and my parents got some places on the beach and we're all gonna stay and hang out and chill and do not much of anything. So I'm excited for that. So that is the end of the tag. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. I hope you all are having a good summer and I will see you on Friday with my Friday face. Bye.